Hello everyone, I'm Peter Albrecht. And I'm Devin Walsh. Thanks for joining us tonight. We begin with continuing coverage of an officer involved shooting last night in Tillman's Corner. Today we have new information about the suspect killed and the officers involved and why the one officer who fired his weapon was not wearing a body cam. WKRG News 5's Gabby Easterwood joins us live from police headquarters with more details about how this happened and about the victim as well. Gabby? Well, Devin, during that press conference today, Chief Batiste was giving us more information into what exactly happened. Now, the victim was actually shot two times, ultimately killing him. And that victim is 37-year-old Edward Bittner. Now, Bittner had felony warrants out for robbery and multiple breaking and entering vehicles. Now, police tell us Bittner was the passenger in the car with two other people. Now, when the officer pulled them over, Bittner got out and tried to flee the scene. So the officer then chased him on foot. When he caught up to Bittner, he tased him. And that's when Bittner got out an eight inch blade and the officer then called for backup. The second officer who had just ended his shift arrived on scene and tased Bittner as well again and tried to disarm him, but he did fail. Now that's all when he fired two fire two rounds of shots into Bittner. Police say the shots were fired because the officer believed Bittner was about to charge him with a knife. Now, the bullets hitting Bittner in his left side and his back. The entire incident lasting all under five minutes. What we have seen to this point, again, we're still early on in the investigation, so we don't want to make any uh, prejudgments about whether the officer was uh, proper in his actions after we have had an opportunity to uh, talk with the officer uh, and get a statement from him as well as review all the evidence that we have available to us. Now, the 21 year veteran officer who fired those fatal shots did not have a body camera on because he's usually in a supervisory position and is not required to wear one. However, the original officer on scene did have a body camera and caught the entire incident on camera. Now, the footage they say is not going to be released at this time, considering it is evidence in their investigation. Now, police say that they hope their preliminary investigation into this officer involved fatal shooting will be completed by either Monday or Tuesday and then will be presented to the DA's office. Reporting live in Mobile, I'm Gabby Easterwood at WKRG News 5.